Fedoras, let's talk about it. So a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that the year 2020 was the year of the fedora for me. I really deep dive into that world and I can't undo it. I love fedoras. It's not really for everybody, but I believe if you properly incorporate it into your wardrobe, it adds a bit of spice to your outfit. So in this video, we're going to talk about the different styles. Where can you find one? How and when should you wear a fedora and what's the whole point of wearing a, a, a fedora? And most importantly, what's your size? Like how can you properly size your head so that the fedora can fit you perfectly? So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, if you tell your buddies that you're about to get a fedora, this image most likely pops in their head. None other than the great Indiana Jones wearing what is affectionately known as the Indiana Jones hat which is really a safari hat which you can distinctively identify from its tall crown and soft brim. The next style is the trilby. Now the trilby is the more common, more popular style in this modern age. If you step out the house and you see someone wearing a fedora, most likely they're wearing a trilby. You can identify it from the very small brim that it has. It usually ranges between an inch and a half to two inches the four inch crown with a teardrop shape on the top. The third style is the pork pie. Very similar to a trilby in the sense that the brim is very short. The distinctive difference is with the pork pie, the top of the, of, of the crown has a much rounder shape as opposed to a teardrop shape. Fourth style is the straw fedora or the Panama hat. Uh, as you can guess from, from the name, it's made out of straw, making it very durable and breathable. So best time to wear this is during the summertime when it's hot. If you go to the beach, you'll see a lot of folks wearing the straw fedora. The fifth type of fedora is your classic fedora, which usually comes with a much wider brim, which can be stiff or soft based on your preference and your standard four inch crown. Now, all of these hats that I just mentioned, you would usually see some sort of band around the base of the crown. How to wear a fedora? Well, you can wear it regular how it's meant to be worn, or if you wanna be more stylish, more rakish, you can tilt it to the side just a tad bit to give it that you know stylish look. And another thing I love about fedoras is you can personalize it so you can add pins on it, stickers, feathers, um, playing cards. You can wrap a bandana around the base of the crown and truly make the fedora your own. When should you wear a fedora? Um, a big part of the when depends on the climate. So I wouldn't suggest you wear a wool fedora in the summer, nor would I suggest you wear a straw fedora in the winter for obvious reasons. So gotta be mindful of the environment that you're in. But in terms of situations, whenever you wanna wear it, you know, it's, it's a nice accessory to add to your overall ensemble but it doesn't necessarily complete it you can wear a whole outfit and not wear a fedora and still look decent or you can wear an outfit with a fedora and look decent as well it's a nice to have it's not a necessary accessory like a watch i know a lot of people will tend to say you should only wear fedoras when wearing a suit or some kind of jacket but you can wear it anytime you want even if it is just a white tee a fedora goes well with that. So why wear a fedora? Well, it does serve a purpose, which is to provide you protection and comfort in the weather you're in. So compare a regular baseball hat to a fedora. With a baseball hat, you got a brim that goes only one way, but with a fedora, classic fedora, you got a brim that goes all around your head, giving you 360 protection from the sun's heat. And for the crown, that also protects and, and gives your head comfort. Take a guy like me during this time of year when it's really cold. I don't want that, that, that cold breeze on my bald head. I have found that wool felt fedoras, it gives me more protection and, and insulation better than a beanie. And of course, during the summertime, wearing a straw for fedora, it, it making, making it breathable, it allows air to go through through the fedora while also cooling my head. So it serves like a ventilation. And 
One more way I forgot to mention how you can wear your hats, especially with one like this that has a snap brim. A lot of guys like to snap the front down, giving you that old school look, which is cool. Um, this is cool, but I like my brim snapped up. So it's totally up to you, it's your preference. So where can you buy these fedoras? First, I will say start locally. Look to see if there's a local mom and pop store that sells these hats. You can go in, you can touch this and see how they feel. You can look at the different styles. You might be a pork pie type of guy or you might be a classic fedora kind of guy. So it would be best to go into a store like that and see what you like. Also have somebody in that store to size up your head so you can see what your exact size is. But if you do not have that option, there are other brands that you can, you can get hats from on on the internet um such as popular ones like goran brothers um stetson you got um the one that i got this from this hat the black one and the burgundy one is from a company called southern gents um 10th street hat uh bellissimo and there's a whole bunch of other brands out there trust me once you start looking at fedoras you will go down a very deep deep rabbit hole and your wallet might hate you for it. So be careful. So we went through the various styles, when you should wear it, how you should wear it, where should you buy it from. Um, but before all that, you got to know your size, whether you're going to purchase it online or you're going, going to go to an actual brick and mortar store. It's best to know your size before you go. So very simple how to measure your head. All you need is a measuring tape like so. And what you want to do is measure around where the, the fedora will actually sit on your head. So for me, it sits right above my eyebrows. So I take the measuring tape and I just measure all the way around. You guys can see that. And I don't want to make it too snug. I want to keep it a little bit loose. Just want to keep it a little bit loose and then just put my finger where it stops and I am about a 60 centimeters so I have a big head um, but yeah that's how you you figure you figure out how a fedora should fit you in the right size if you're in between sizes I would say go up a size you want to be on the safe side and and have a, a, a fedora that that just fits you slightly loosely like I bought one and it was true to size when I bought it um, actually it was down a size this is this is a 58 inches and I'm actually a 60 and you can see it just fits my head real nice and snug I like it I still wear it but Hindsight, I should have gone up a size to a 60. But yeah, once you do, you pick the right hat. And there you have it, done. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Let me know if fedoras are a part of your style. Do you have any? Of course, I have a few of them, and I plan on getting a couple more this year. Like, comment, and subscribe again. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'll see you guys next week. And until then, stay fly, stay fit.